Hello, my dear Scorpios. This is a Scorpio Zodiac reading. Basically, our focus is on guidance. Welcome to Mystical Mermaid. We are going to get started for my fellow Scorpios, okay? So right off the bat, what I have for you guys here is that you're taking time out to heal, to recharge, okay? This is a time frame for you, Scorpio, to do a life assessment, okay? You're doing a life review. You're looking back at yourself and you're saying, okay, I've been through this. I've gone through that. This is aligned. This works for me. This doesn't work for me. What needs to be changed? What needs to be healed? What needs to be let go of, okay? I have a feeling that my Scorpios are also going within to try to follow their intuition to figure out what next step to make in life, okay? But let's focus on the healing portion first, okay? I want to make this quick for you guys. Give you your guidance. Okay, so we have 55 here breaking down to a 10. So we have a lot of change, right? So there's cycles ending, um, kind of like a snake sheds its skin, right? There's cycles in ending to begin anew, right? So this is time to heal. We have inner child here. The fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe, okay? So I think you're healing some inner child issues, okay? They want you to focus on your inner child, right? Go out and play. Have fun, okay? Be safe, of course, but go out and do something that will nurture you. You nurture your inner child. That's the main focus, your inner child, okay? Now, we have this life review here. Archangel Jeremiah. Take inventory of your life. And resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Okay, so let's put these two cards together. I want you guys to look at something. We have time to heal the snake spirit. And we have balance. So this unicorn card says, take time to relax. Indulge a little more or less. Set boundaries with your work. Okay? And this card, the life review card, we have... Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So this is about healing things in your life that are unbalanced, obviously, right? So we have three cards talking about this. And we have this inner child card here. And we also have this bad spirit card. I usually like to wait to talk about my animal um, spirit guide cards. But let's, let's talk about this one first. Okay, because this has a lot to do with your healing. So the bad spirit represents darkness, letting go, death leading to rebirth. Okay, so this is a rebirth time, right? Once again, the snake um, shedding its skin and transforming. This is very Scorpio. Okay, this is so Scorpio. So when in balance... This spirit is um, accepting, it adapts, it adjusts. When out of balance, it refuses to let go and it reminisces. So to bring into balance, watch the sunrise. Okay, so to bring into balance, they're telling you that you need to watch the sunrise, which is ironic because we have the sun card here. Enjoy success and happiness, okay? So basically, you I don't know if you can see this. See this moon-like energy? This is coming out of a dark shadow period in your life and moving into the sun, okay? This is bringing balance into your life. So this is the past. This is the present, okay? We can move out of this energy and to this energy, okay? Bring balance into your life, all right? Even if you pay attention to this unicorn, this unicorn even has reddish wings, right? Have a lot of red, black um, brown energy here, okay? So you're going through a transformation with this butterfly here. It's a rebirth, okay? You're you're arising from the dark. So if you started off as, at the, as this bat, right? And you're transforming into this butterfly, into this unicorn. You're bringing balance. You're rising from the darkness and moving into the light. You're healing. Healing inner child issues, okay? 
in order and looking back at your life and, 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 and taking note of it so that you can have this sun card. So you can have this sun, um, sunshine, this sunflower feeling to have success and happiness, okay? But in the meantime, pay attention to devotion. We have Krishna here. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally, okay? So this has to do with trusting your intuition, trusting the guidance you get you, you get and receive from your spirit guides, your spiritual team, your ancestors, um, God, Holy Spirit, whatever you believe in. It says, trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Okay, once again, if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So trust your path goes right along with trust your spiritual guidance. So this has to do with trusting that you are on the right path, that your spiritual team is helping you and guiding you every step of the way. You have the power, okay? Never feel um, powerless or feel like you're the victim. Healing is necessary in order to move forward to grow and to step into your full power we have raw here power okay power this is such a powerful card with the pyramids you know ancient egypt rebirth you guys rebirth because when you're reborn after this rebirth period you're going to be stepping into your full power this will be you're leveling up I feel like singing the Sierra song, Level Up, okay? So look that song up if you've never heard that song before. And she's a Scorpio, how ironic. Um, but yeah, level up, okay? You guys are leveling up in life. Um, Lilith, equality, you're bringing in a balance. So this has to do with balance, healing, and listening to your intuition, you guys. We actually have the listen to your intuition card here. Okay? Listen to your intuition. We also have the high priestess here. We have the mystic here. Re revels in intimate union with the divine. Shadow aspect. Delusional re report with the divine. So, you have a gift or a skill to communicate with your spiritual team, you know. Of course, everyone can communicate, can pray and meditate and communicate with their guides and whatnot and angels and guardian angels. But I'm getting the sense that you guys have the ability to actually hear from and to speak with the divine, okay, and to receive messages. So... Get a journal and start taking note of that in the, during this phase of devotion and healing, okay? While you're doing this inner child work, you might get some downloads that might help you to know what to work on and what to release and what to move forward on. Follow your intuition. Scorpios are already known as a highly intuitive, transfer, transformative sign, you know? So... This fits very well. We have the full here. Love this card, which has a butterfly on it. We have butterflies all through here. So this transformation. We have temperance, right? Temperance has to do with healing, right? This has to do with balance, bringing balance into a situation, pouring a little bit out of one cup into another cup to make sure that everything is balanced and aligned, okay? Okay evenly equality right so we have the nine of cups okay so i'm sorry this is the six of cups this is a new deck for me we have the six of cups here okay so this has to do with you guys overall and we also have the high priestess before i tell you the meaning we have the high priestess right Overall, I'm getting that it's time for you guys to take a leap of faith, okay? It's time for you guys to move forward. Even though, you know, you may feel like a fool in this situation, it's time to move forward to bring in healing and balance, okay? It's, you guys have been stagnant for too long. It's time to move forward out of this darkness and to move into the light, right? This fool is sitting in the light, okay? He's in the cemetery, but it's daytime. So here we have the 
temperance, right? You see this light around her head, which symbolizes enlightenment, right? Enlightenment. Crown chakra, right? Then we have the six of cups here. See, even though you've had a success, it's time to still keep moving forward, okay? Even though you're healing, still keep moving forward. Do not become stagnant. Right here, this high priestess, your intuition, secrets, illusions, you know, knowing the unknown. She knows what is unknown. She has the book, right? She has all the details. Your intuition knows. Your higher self knows what to do. Follow your guides, your spiritual team. Pray and meditate. Stay aligned, okay? And they will lead you down the right path, okay? They're letting you know that there's a transformation. With the way this skeleton is looking at this butterfly on its finger and the fact that it's in a cemetery i'm getting that okay this might be touchy you guys i'm getting that if you have a passed on relative or passed on loved one or spirit guides they might be using butterflies to get your attention to communicate with you okay they might be doing this in order to let you know hey we're here with you we're trying to help you we're guiding you down your path okay so Pay attention to butterflies there. Not only represent transformation, but also pass on loved ones, okay, that are with you and guiding you. And I get that maybe this pass on loved one is trying to get you to see that. You just need to bring balance into your life. They want you to get balanced, okay, to move forward no matter what, okay. Yes, you've had success, but let's keep going. Let's stay positive. Let's continue to follow our intuition, okay. Stay devoted, this is a life review, okay? You're, you're literally doing a life review to figure out, okay, now where do I move forward now? What's my next path? What's the next step do I take? And Scorpio, what I'm getting for you, the next step you take is to trust your path, to trust your spiritual guidance, to trust your intuition, okay? We have listened to your intuition. We have trust your path. We have trust spiritual guidance. We have the high priestess here, okay? We have ultimately the sun and joy, success, and happiness. All will be okay, but you have to take this time out to heal. Take this time out to heal first. And once you do that, your connection with the divine will be even more powerful. You are already a natural mystic, okay? You're already a, you know, a mysterious, you know, spiritual being. But this healing that you're going through, this your, your sigil card is the goddess. So we have healing feminine energy. So what this tells me right here is that this healing you're going through is to balance out your masculine and feminine energies as well, okay? Equality, hello. So this isn't just about other things. It also represents healing the feminine and masculine energies within you, not outside of you. And this in return will help in heal your inner child, okay? Realize that you have the power, okay? You have the free will to do this, okay? This sun, this happiness and success is waiting for you. It's waiting for you. You have the power to change your life and turn things around, Scorpio. It's time for you to bring balance into your life. You are a, po a positive and powerful sign out of, out of the zodiac. You know about transformation. You know what it's like to go through rebirths, deaths and rebirths. This is what you have to go through in this phase, in this Scorpio phase. It's just another death and rebirth, okay? You know that this is a process that you have to go through in order to get to this happiness, in order to see the sunlight. So you have to come out of this dark period so that you can fly towards the sun, so that you can be towards the sun. So you know that rebirth, when you go through this, is transformation. You know, it's like the butterfly, right? Pay attention to how butterflies even exist. Their, their birthing period, you know, um, the caterpillar, you know, to the cocoon, to the butterfly. Just, there's different steps to it, okay? Similar, I'm, I'm speaking through this fastly because I want you to see some, and I want to stay too stuck on the butterfly energy, but I think it's very important that you guys know about the butterfly energy and also remember that it has to do with past on loved ones communicating with you as well. I want you to pay attention to the healing part of it, healing portion of it. This is going to help to transform you. You have to heal your inner child, heal feminine and masculine energies, okay? Go within spiritually and stay devoted. Talk to your ancestors, your spiritual team, and your guides. 
Speak to them. Ask them for the spirit of discernment. Ask them to help you to follow your intuition no matter what. Okay? Trust your path. Okay? If you knew you would be supported, what would you do, Scorpio? What will you do? Because you are supported. It shows right here in the cards. You are supported. So what's your next move, Scorpio? Okay? Because right here, we, it shows that you will have the sun card. But you have to make sure you are going through this healing process. And you have to have patience with it. You cannot speed up your healing process. Okay, Scorpio? Take it easy. I love you guys. And enjoy your season. Happy birthday. Okay? Love y'all. Bye.